scores with 10 touchdowns. On second and goal. Cunningham racing to that front corner, and he's got it for the touchdown. A three-yard TD run. Mikhail Cunningham. Third down gains after they've got him stuffed early in the drive. Had to stop that passing game now. 13 yards on the previous play, and a wide-open man is Hunter Long. Long inside the 20. Long to the goal line, and he's in for the Boston College touchdown. Brown to Long, 72 yards. James Bates, 72 yards on the play. Yeah, there's a play fake to A.J. Dillon. Everybody's focused on him, but not that focused to where Long can be that wide open. And it's off to the races. Good hustle by Yeast, but all for nothing. We're tied at seven right here in the loop. Defense couldn't get off the field. It was the difference. Can they hear? He'll throw it. Complete. Dawkins. He'll go into the end zone. Untouched and uncontested. Going to have a chance, it looks like, here today, the rest of the way, perhaps. Seeing action in his sixth game of the season. Throws the pass down to the goal line. And a touchdown. Adrizi has the catch. Ten yards for BC on the pass by Grossell. Got to hold your water defensively, Tom. Can't jump yep. offside. They're going to run it up the middle and into the end zone. JV and Hawkins did the heavy lifting on that drive. And he caps it off with a three-yard TD run. goes to the house as well and here under two minutes in the first half to the end zone and in Hassan Hall kept his footing and he scores for the cards from six yards out complete Fitzpatrick to the end zone Conley to Fitzpatrick touchdown card In the fourth quarter, got to stay clean, got to keep it clean. Stay in this fight. Misdirection gadget play for Levy, running towards the goal line. He's pushed, and Levy is into the end zone, just inside the pylon. 37 yards for Travis Levy. Watch Big Lindstrom get up and move. That's a, that's a big old boy. Wraps that arm around a little bit, the white glove. Blends in nicely with that white jersey. Nobody sees it. And there's the push at the very end, but inside that pylon. I've been impressed with the, the hustle. The field goal percentage makes. 41 yards away, Creaky. To give the cards the lead. He's done it. 41-yard field goal. Of the day. A lot of help from JV and Dawkins and company. There's the snap, the hold. Hooker's going to take off. One guy to beat and did it. Touchdown, Okies. An impressive opening drive capitalizing off the interception for Justin Fuente's squad. And keep Miami in this football game. The pressure coming. Hooker drops back. Backside pressure found his man, though. And touchdown, Hokies. Keen with another score. Miami doesn't have any timeouts remaining. Perry looks like they're going to try and throw this one to the end zone. Time will expire. Perry loads up and heaves it. Bounce up and caught! Touchdown! Miracle Miami! And showing a sign of life! It was tipped and then caught by Mark Pope. Nikosi Perry rolls to the near sideline, puts a lot of air underneath the football. Mallory gets the tip. Pope gets the touchdown and wow. the Hurricanes on the board huh. for the first time today. Wow, what an end to the first half.
and play well this afternoon. Big catch. Huge play. The police in the backfield. Hooker pulls it out. Touchdown. That's the third one of the day for Keene. A.J. Osborne here at Miami. Into the end zone. Perry. Caught. Touchdown, Keynes. Thomas. And Miami trying to stay alive. Perry on third and long for the Canes, trying to stay alive. Wide open, Thomas! Touchdown, Miami! Now down by just a touchdown. Perry hands it off. First man through is DJ Dallas! DJ! Still spinning! DJ! Play that song, DJ! Touchdown, Canes! Play calling today by Justin Fuente, setting up his quarterback, have been outstanding. Hooker hands it off to McLeese. McLeese! Touchdown, Hokies! They go ahead! That's an answer. Take a look and see if he gets in. The knee. I think that's a touchdown. Yeah, I, I don't think that there's going to be anything. I think when his knee touched down, Dusty, the ball had already crossed the plane of the goal line. Totally agree with that. And that looks like a touchdown. I definitely don't think there will be indisputable evidence to be able to overturn it. From a clean, if it stands, that's his first rushing touchdown of the season. And the six of his career, the ball is There's the ball right there. Breaking the plane as his knee hits the ground. This call is going to be confirmed. Let's see if Sam Howell decides to go there. Pressure coming. Intercepted. Taken away by Antoine Owens. Sam Howell. Throws just his third interception of the year and a big turnover early for Georgia Tech. You get a weird formation with four players down to the bottom. Howell picks out the wide open guy. It's Daz Newsom. Touchdown, Carolina. 20-yard throw to Newsom. Rips one in there for Newsom. 10-0 Carolina and Atlanta when we continue. We got both Corrales to the bottom in one-on-one. -on -one. Loop it for Corrales. Caught it. Touchdown, Carolina against Samari Walton. Did it earlier in the year. O Corrales getting lined up, a back shoulder throw. I knew this day was coming, so, you know, to kind of ease in the transition. So I'm, I'm really excited about this next chapter. Got a lot of. Oh, he got him. does hit Brown. Now. That's how The Georgia Tech touchdown to Malachi Carter. 28 yards. Oh, oh, just a loop from James Graham. Tay Williams with him out of the Georgia Tech timeout. Looking to the end zone, Deami Brown. Did he get a foot down? Yes! Touchdown, Carolina. Over the top of Trey Swilling. Balls up in the air. Brown goes up, high points it, foot down in the end zone. And wow. And these Carolina receivers, it's been a little inconsistent at times, but you see this is a young group with incredible talent, great ball skills. James Graham able to get a big game. Jordan Mason, touchdown, Georgia Tech. And just like that, the Jackets match the Tar Heels. Yeah, great play design. This is the touchdown. This team is not going to be really good going forward. Yep. Howell. There's Walston, the tight end. Did he get it in? Touchdown, Carolina for Garrett Walston. 16-yard throw, Walston's first touchdown of the year. On Georgia Tech, under 10 to go, and Sam Howell has thrown for a career-high 362 and now four touchdowns. First and goal. They fumbled it, picked it up, handed it to Javante Williams, who reroutes and scores. if we can mess up everything on the play and still score a touchdown. Javante Williams makes a move, finds a crease, takes on a defender, falls in the end zone. 
And Chapman was a guy that they had seen when he was recruiting for West Point. And he had family in the North Carolina area. And they called him up and said, you interested? Here's Amari and Brown in stride for the touchdown. And Chapman got beat there by the speedy freshman Brown. And he's able to deliver an absolute dime on the run to Amari and Brown down the field. That's the throw that gets you excited. So there, there's enough there for North Carolina where Mac Brown's going to go back and say, guys, we did not play well today. And Harris back by himself. Wants to throw it nearly. And in fact, it is intercepted. Picked off by Pitt. Ford into the end zone. Touchdown. A tip and then the pick six. And it's that defense that's been playing well all season long, but not coming up with turnovers. They do it here as Paris Ford is able to walk this. Duke Blue Devils, first and 10. Just over two minutes to go before halftime. Going to try it here for Mack, and a catch in the end zone. An outstanding grab for a touchdown. Taysir Mack. Motion out here, and you have three receivers out here. That is going to force a rotation by the secondary. They do that, which means you have one-on-one -on -one down the bottom of your screen, and that's your best wide receiver running on a corner, and it gives an easy opportunity for your quarterback to have the decision made before the ball is snapped, and then just give to Sear Mack a chance to go up and find the football. Harris with a handoff, Jackson trying to bear his way forward. And he is in, a touchdown. He'll keep it, trying to pull his way inside, and he got there, touchdown. But Quentin Harris has had an amazing night. Five receptions tonight. Harris again to throw. Over the middle. And caught. Jackson. Jackson for the end zone. Touchdown. Deion Jackson rumbles in. And the Duke Blue Devils jump in front. It was really creative play call. They're running corner routes right here. That is to draw these defenders out wide. Now watch what they do here. They're going to move Jackson up to the middle of the field, a little wiggle, and he's going to run right down the middle as Brightwell tries to attack him. And so you widen the safeties, and then you just shoot your tailback right past that middle linebacker. It is a really well-designed and timed-up play in terms of the call. Good execution after missing it earlier in the first half. And you've got to say this about Quentin Harris. He had an awful first half. Finally going to convert the second half on a third down. 0 for 6. And it will. It's Carter. Spinning free. Headed for the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. The lead Carter on the strike by Kenny Pickett from 26 yards. You see everyone coming in here. Basically, it's man across the board. You see the man of coverage across the board, and they're just going to leak Valik Carter out here, and he's uncovered. You know, somebody's got to peel with him, and so it's a bust unless they're asking McSwain, the defensive tackle, to do it, which is an impossible job, which is why Valik Carter is so wide open. Kenny Pickett does a good job of just retreating, giving enough ground, and then it's tough to make a tackle on Carter in the open field.